Hi everybody and welcome back. Well the future of Linux or at least how a Linux desktop may look may be finally here with the release of Genome 3. This was released uh, April 6 just a few days ago. I believe it's actually pronounced GNOME. I prefer Genome so pardon me. Anyway Genome 3 was released April 6. You can find out more here on genome.org if you click find out how to get Genome 3. And here you can get it as a live image download on OpenSUSE or Fedora. You can run it from a CD, DVD or a USB stick. I ran it off a USB stick. Uh, it ran okay. was not very stable. I was trying to record live from it. It worked but I was only able to get a short recording session from it. So let's go to that and take a look. Now I have video and no sound, so I will be narrating over this on how this looks. So let's take a look. This is approximately three minutes of me running the live session. So let's take a look. Now to the top right, it says live system user. It didn't have a power off button, but if you would have to hold the alternate button, the ALT button, to alternate between suspend and power off. And as a Windows user, that was really confusing, but I figured it out. Now these are the shortcuts on top. Here we have the clock, calendar, and to the left you have the activities, which would be the menu, uh, it would be the menu start button. Uh, Epiphany is the default web browser. Uh, I guess it's okay. I would have preferred, uh, you know, Firefox or Chrome, but it did work. You move the applications left or right extreme, it will snap back. There are no minimize, maximize buttons. You have to right click to minimize or maximize. Rhythm box is installed by default. Again, right click minimize, click activities. This will give you your, your windows or your activity windows of what you are doing and you can uh, go back and forth between desktop environments click applications this will have a list of all the software that is installed in alphabetical order accessories games graphics internet office other sound and video and of course system tools you click all if you scroll to that, to the archive manager, that looks like toilet paper on a stick. I'm sorry, that's what it looks like to me as a Windows user. Anyway, getting back to the application software, I think this actually looks pretty cool. Uh, the Nautilus file manager is installed by default, it looks like. The home folder. The search bar at the top right type in what you're looking for. I believe I typed in CIL for calculator and of course it found the calculator. And again right click to minimize activities. Again you can switch between desktop environments one two three. Overall a very clean looking piece of software at least to me in my Windows brain. I really liked how this looked. I think I thought it was pretty slick. It wasn't quite 100% stable. It's close. But once this gets, you know, finalized, at least good enough for me to work, I think I may have to install this in one of my machines. But overall, as a Windows user, I thought this looked terrific. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's about three minutes of it. Well, in conclusion, I would say uh, take a look. Again, as a Windows user, as a dual booter, I found this to be uh, somewhat intuitive to use. The only thing that threw me off was the uh, there was no shutoff button. You had to hold the ALT button to switch between suspend and power off. And I'm not sure I like that. I mean, it's no big deal. But anyway, just a, a small gripe about it. But check out Genome 3. Just go to Genome or genome.org. Download it, take a look at it, and let me know what you guys think of it. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this edition of Total OS Today, and as always, I will catch you sometime in the future. Thanks. Bye.